The 58th Super Bowl will likely be the most watched single sporting event in 2024. Now, I'm not interested in sports at all. But after watching Corridor Crew's video on the hidden VFX in live sports and receiving an email from the Red Shark newsletter, which is about video technology, even I was pretty interested. So big shout out and credits to both of these resources, especially the latter one. In 2023, a massive 150 million viewers watched the Super Bowl and we all know how much companies are willing to spend on their ads for this event. Budweiser spent $470.5 million in Super Bowl ads from the first one back in 1967 to 2020. That's just insane. So we get it. A lot of people are watching these ads and of course the event in general so let's dive into all the different cameras used to capture the super bowl and how much they cost this year the host broadcaster cbs plans to use 165 cameras to provide over 115 combined hours of coverage this is the 22nd time cbs is broadcasting this event and they are going all out 48 cameras have super slow motion capabilities and half of them are 24 4k zoom extraction cameras which the broadcaster says is a record for the super bowl we also have some new innovations this year like for example the so-called doink cameras. Among the 165 cameras trying to capture every angle of the game vertically and horizontally, six cameras will be embedded inside the goalposts themselves, three per end. CBS is also planning on using three sky cams, two fly cams, three drones for the aerial views, a 53-foot techno bird crane, five depth of field cameras, six different sets, 49 replay machines, over 600 record and playback channels, and 19 television mobile units. That is a mouthful. Now that is just crazy. I've worked on some live streaming events in the past, but the amount of stress these people have to be under is just beyond me. Imagine just one cable being not plugged in the right way. Oh, and also the entire event will be broadcast in 4K HDR. So how much will all of these cameras cost? Apparently Red Shark was able to track down a press release from Sony that details all the different camera packages used at the game. And here are all the 121 Sony cameras, including the prices. Sony system cameras in use are 15 HDC 3500 cameras at $55,000 per unit. We have a total of $825,000 for the first 15 cameras. Then we have four HDC 4800 cameras at $180,000 per unit. We have a total of $720,000. We have 63 HDC 5500 cameras at $90,000 each, a total of $5,670,000. 23 HTC P50s at $45,000 each, $1,035,000. One Sony FX9 for $9,000 and one Sony FX6 for $6,000. That's this camera right here crazy how one managed to sneak in there. The famous halftime show featuring Usher will be filmed on 10 Sony Venice 2s coming in at $58,000 per unit, resulting in a total of $580,000. Three normal Venice 1s at $40,000 each, $120,000 in total, and one of the very new Sony Burano for $25,000. So for the game right now, we are looking at a total of 107 cameras at a combined value of $8,265,000. And for the halftime show, we only have 14 cameras coming in at a value of only $725,000. So combined for the whole production right now, we are looking at cameras worth $8,990,000 and that's just Sony. And this is also before looking at lenses that will likely exceed the value of cameras if you ever looked at these amazing television zooms. Canon has provided a list of lenses that will be used on the production, but sadly with equipment like this, it's not like you can find the price on Amazon like for your typical consumer camera. Prosumer camera. Given that the, I have to read this, Canon UJ122X8.2B IE-D UHD Digi Super 122X 4K broadcast lens alone, which is used 17 times, comes in at over $170,000. That means that these lenses alone have a total value of $2,890,000. And this list only represents 57 lenses for all the 165 cameras or 121 Sony camera bodies used in the production, although it is debatable if the Sony cameras will use a Canon lens. I mean, I'm doing it, I'm adapting it, but I don't know if they will. And again, those are just the 121 Sony cameras and some lenses. Sadly, I can't find any info on, for example, the drones they plan on using. Right now, I'm actually reading something about drones maybe even being banned, but maybe that's just the drone show. I can't find exact infos on the broadcast trucks, the production equipment, the cables, or the augmented reality equipment. But when you put all of that into consideration to the billions of dollars CBS is paying for the rights to broadcast the Super Bowl, it's like with any Hollywood film. The expensive cameras, lenses, and technical stuff is actually the smallest part money-wise. Now that's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can find more videos right here and right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video after the Super Bowl. See you next Sunday.